Joy Choice next. It's blooming like crazy. It's getting really lanky. I want to go ahead and take this out so that it's not an issue for my garden sitter. And I'm going to go ahead and plant some seeds today. And then I'll take those in the house and they can be taken care of more like a house plant than a garden plant uh, for the person that's taking care of my dogs and my cats. So the first thing I'm going to do is come through here and harvest all the leaves I can get. You can pick anything all the way up the stem, including the flowers on the top if you would like. Um, they're totally edible and you can eat anything on this plant that you want. Okay, here's my Joy Choy, the last picking of this group, and there's a good solid pound, maybe a pound and a quarter there. And then I got some flowers that I'm going to add to my stir fry. So anyways, that is the end of this Joy Choy patch. It's done an awesome job. Think about it. We planted these on the first week. It probably started producing on week four. We're at what, week 19? So that's 15 weeks of food. That's really, really good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull these plants out and we're just going to mulch this section down and just leave it blank while we're gone. Uh, we're going to start some seed and then in two weeks they should be up and going and we can transplant those in to the garden. That is a deer fly. Sorry. Those things bite. It's starting to warm up, I can tell, because the deer fly come out when it gets warm. Okay, now, this stuff could go in your compost pile. You could collect it up, get it started next week. And there's instructions on our website on making a compost pile and getting it activated. So you can go up there and watch the videos and work on composting a very important skill to have while you're gardening. So if you're bad at it, keep practicing until you get good. Or, you know, find somebody that's good at it and ask them how to do it. Because it's going to save you a ton of money. And you got all this raw material that can go right into your compost pile. So definitely take advantage of that. It doesn't take but a few minutes a day to keep a compost pile going. Okay, there we are. Look at all this good stuff. Don't want to waste a single piece. The thing I like about this soil is, number one, how many weeds did we find? Zero. That's awesome. And we can keep it that way if you don't let anything go to seed. And number two, look at this soil. I dig my hand right down through it. It's nice and crumbly. This is your um, sandy loam soil. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and feed the soil. Since I have all my stuff here, so we're going to go ahead and get this prepared. And we won't have to do it in a few weeks. And it'll be under the mulch, which we're going to put some mulch on. So we might as well get this all ready to go. And one extra scoop just for fun. We've got to have fun in the garden, right? Oops, give me that thing. Okay. You notice I'm not walking in my garden. From one side or the other, I can reach the whole thing. Okay, and I'm going to level up these holes. I'm going to smooth this out just like I was going to go ahead and plant it. Need a little extra in these little pockets. Okay, now the microbes can be working on that compost while it's waiting on the plants to come. And let's see. 
Here's my mulch. Just gonna mulch that down, make it look good. I know that it'll be ready for us when we get back. 